Hi, everybody. Welcome to a fun holiday science episode of the marvelous Madison Moo. This is Madison, and I'm her mom. And today we're going to show you how to make fake snow. I remember that I'm from Michigan, and but sometimes I just don't remember my mom told me. And there's lots of snow in Michigan when it's getting near winter, so we like making fake snow. That's right. So we now live in southern Florida, but Madison was actually born in Michigan. But we moved down when she was eight months old. So even though she was in the snow, she doesn't really remember it and was asking about it. And so we thought we'd do some fake snow since we can't get back for the holidays. The great thing about the snow is it's only two ingredients, white conditioner, and we have a tropical coconut for being in Southern Florida, and baking soda. So just half a cup of conditioner. Can I do it? And three cups of baking soda. Yeah, absolutely. I need your help. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna put in there, and I went ahead and pre-squeezed it, is half a cup of conditioner. Can I, can I have? Absolutely. And you're gonna go ahead and dump it in. Ooh, there we go. Good job. That is satisfying, isn't it? And it smells really good too, right? A little bit of coconut. Smells like my mom's milk. Yeah, well we do have some good smelling milk in the fridge. What she's talking about is we have some eggnog in the fridge. All right, so the next thing we need to do is put in three cups of baking soda. Can right you, here? Yeah, can you hold uh, that cup over the bowl and then we'll go ahead and put it in? All right, so hold it really good. All right, so we're gonna do one cup and I'm gonna actually rip this can box. Can I mix it too? Can you do what? Can I mix it too? Oh yeah, you're gonna be doing all the mixing. So go ahead and dump that one in. Okay, and then put it back because we need to do two more. So we're gonna do... All right, I think we got some big snowballs in here, more than just a little baking soda snow. And we need one more cup. And other than it not being cold, pouring this out definitely reminds me of going outside and grabbing some snowballs off the ground. Cause there are some good little baking soda chunks in here. Okay, so now. Yeah, this really smells like coconut. Yeah, it does, right? So now, Madison, can you put your hands in there and just really squish it around? We're gonna mix all the ingredients together. So really get down in there. And I'll actually tilt the bowl a little bit for you because it's a little bit of a tall bowl. And what do you think? How's it going? Do you want a little help? Yeah? yeah? Okay. So I'm just gonna get in there. and mix it around, and you just really Everyone's just... Everyone's like, wow, I don't know what it was done. Oh, you know, the cool thing about this is that the conditioner is cold, so it does feel a little bit... It looks like what you're mixing. Like snow, yeah. And it feels like satisfying snow. Yep, and it's starting to kind of take on that snow shape. You can already see that. And again, the best smelling snow I've ever smelled. All right, so I think we got it pretty good here. So we're gonna go ahead and pour it on our pans so that you can see what that looks like. And I'm just gonna use my hand to get all that snow out. All right, you ready? Can we play with it for a while? Absolutely. Would That's the make... best part. Well, first thing, I'm definitely making a snowball. What about you? I'm making a snowman. Are you going to do a snowman? I love that. And you can see, I mean, it's pretty easy. There's a little snowball right there. Yeah, it does, right? And you can I'm make way more if you want to double that recipe there's plenty to do a lot of fun here but this is actually enough to make a pretty good snowman how's your snowman going i'm gonna make a base 
I'm yeah. gonna make a secret underground base and I'll model it. So one of my favorite things to do when we lived in Michigan. Because I'm gonna make your blue spy one. Oh yeah. Well, what Madison's talking about is we also filmed a uh, science episode a little bit ago where you use cranberry juice uh, and baking soda and water to you know the decode sad secret part messages. As when you said Daddy was going to act as the villain, he actually didn't show up, which is kind of worrying. Yeah, well, Daddy actually did a pretty cool villain um, in the episode. He helped design one, which was really neat. So I think I'm getting there. But one of my favorite things to do when we lived in Michigan was to put on a warm layer of clothes and gloves and go outside and lay in the snow and, and make a snow angel. And her roof was going to look very good. What, did her, what does your roof look like? Um, right in, in this land, you would say in the, uh, in the snow, covered in snow, right? Well, what do you think, Madison? Was this really cool to make? But I don't really know. How are you making yours so goodly? How are you stacking up so perfectly? Um, that's a great question. So I'm kind of massaging it together like this with my hands kind of squeezing to make that nice little snowball. Up north, you would have to push it around on your yard. Um, which is fun until you get one of those really big bottom pieces and then you're definitely working out for that a little bit. This is a little bit easier and I don't have to put on layers and gloves and a hat to go out and do it. So I think even if I was up north still and it was snowing out, I might still do this experiment so, every now and then. Since I, so today, who do you want me to make? Um, how about we do a snow angel? You want me to show you how? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to flatten the snow. And then it won't be a perfect one, but it's about having fun, right? So we're going to flatten the snow. And then I'm going to kind of put a little face in it and some wings and then a little bottom. Can I give her a hair? Yeah, go ahead. I'm also gonna give him a body too. You're doing a really cool job there I'm with your snow angel. Man. Well, and then maybe next holiday we'll have to go home and visit again in the snow because this is definitely tempting me to go back. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Make sure that you like and subscribe for more fun episodes like this one. Um, in addition to science, we also do crafts and then some really neat gaming episodes. So we hope to see you back again. I'm about to make a streaming one after this one, so thank you. <laughs> yeah, Madison loves the gaming episodes too. All right, thanks everybody. Stay warm. Like and subscribe. And have a wonderful holiday season. Bye.